Today's breakfast was inspired by a late-night conversation about brownies and waffle irons. I wanted to get in on the action. The recipe comes from allrecipes.com. You will need a half cup of butter, melted, a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, two eggs, one tablespoon of water, one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and optionally, two thirds of a cup of chopped pecans and two thirds of a cup of confectioner's sugar for decoration. In a bowl, stir together the melted butter and the cocoa powder. It will be velvety smooth. To this, add the sugar and give it a mix. Then, add the eggs and water and mix them in as well. I like to add ingredients and mix them as I go in order to avoid any clumping that shouldn't be there. Finally, add the flour and salt and mix together. It was at this point I discovered the batter had become more of a dough, which is not my experience with brownies. I added about five more tablespoons of water to make it more workable. It wasn't ideal, but it helped. Plug in your waffle iron and wait for it to heat up. Grease your iron, then add a spoonful of batter to each well and close it up. Touch nothing. When finished, remove the waffle brownies and set aside. These ones came out with a crisp top and bottom and a soft outer edge. For decoration, you can add some confectioner's sugar and fresh fruit. I topped my brownies with strawberries and bananas and a healthy dose of maple syrup. However you decide to dress them up, these make for a sweet breakfast treat. The recipe makes about six waffles and would feed three people comfortably. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.